Hey guys, and welcome back to Manny's by Megan. In today's video, I'm actually gonna be showing you a brand called Pampered Pretties, and we're gonna be doing an amazing ombre um, with a couple of their colors with these awesome little spray ombre bottles that she's gonna be launching soon. Um, so I'm really excited about this. I did try it first because I wanted to make sure I knew what I was doing before I showed you all how I do this. So I did only test um, a swatch stick. I haven't done it on my nails. So um, as you can see, I've got quite a few colors from their collection. And the colors I'm gonna use today are gonna be, uh, let's see. We're gonna use um, Hibiscus. I'm gonna use Sparkling Punch for an accent nail or two. And then there's one called Slushy, which for some reason, I can't find my swatch for. Um, there it is, okay. All right, so these three colors I'm gonna be using. I'm gonna be ombreing these two, and then we'll use the um, Sparkling Punch as an accent. So, Let's go ahead and get started. Uh, the first thing I'm gonna do is uh, apply my um, peel base and then I will be right back. Okay, so I'm back and I actually wanna talk real quick about how I filled the bottles with powder. Um, so I just twisted off the lid and I created, and guys, I am copywriting this, so don't even try to steal my idea. Um, I rolled a piece of paper and taped it. And then I use that as a funnel. And then I just poured a little bit of the powder in. And I'm not sure yet how to reuse these, but my hope is that I can um, maybe like pour some clear powder, like some cheap clear powder, and then just spray it through until it kind of cleans it out. So um, maybe we'll have an update on that at some point. But for now, um, I'm not sure how to clean these, but we'll figure that out in the future. So. To get started, I'm gonna be applying Pro Base to, uh, we'll start with the middle finger and I'm just gonna go and apply the Pro Base to the full nail. And sometimes when you're doing an ombre, you might wanna do a double layer on the first um, the first layer of Pro Base or base coat. That way it doesn't dry too fast. Because a lot of the um, base coats now are um, fast drying. So here we go. First things first is uh, we're going to spray the tip and really all you have to do is just like pump this thing and just kind of see it working. And we'll talk about it right after because I don't want to waste my drying time here. So spray it and then take your next one and then just spray. And um, If you're kind of Sensitive, you may wear a mask when doing this just because the powder does kind of get in the air a little bit. We'll see if I was fast enough. So far that actually looks pretty cool. Um, we'll see if I was fast enough. We'll give it just a second to dry and I guess I'll move on to my thumb. I think for this tutorial, it's probably gonna be easier if I don't use the finger rest. So I kinda of have to move my fingers around a little more in this one. So I'll just try to steady myself here. Okay, maybe we'll start with the tip here. I mean, it's like super easy. It just does all the work for you. Normally you'd be tap, 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 tap. Here you're just pump, 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 pump. Super easy. Honestly, if you wanted to do like a clear ombre, I think this makes it so much easier so you don't like contaminate the clear. So that's actually looking really good. What I'm gonna do is kind of just dust this off and actually nothing comes off, so that's great. Um, it kind of all absorbed. So we're gonna alternate colors for the next one. I'm gonna go ahead and apply my second layer of base coat and we're gonna start at the base of the nail this time. 
Like I said, I like to do two layers just so that way it doesn't dry too fast on me. And I really love the way this ombre looks so far. Very pretty. So we'll just spray, spray, spray. And this is a light color, so it's kind of hard for you to see that it's coming out, but it is, trust me. These are like super easy to use. I don't know if I want to do ombre any other way now. That's amazing. I feel so spoiled, actually. Wow. Really, really well. Wow. Look at that. It does all the work for you. I forgot about the pinky. I'm doing the pinky too. Um, okay, so we are gonna just keep on moving along. And if you haven't heard of Pampered Pretties, they are actually a pretty new company. Lots and lots of selection. Um, the glitters are amazing. So definitely check it out. I'll put a link in the description box and you guys can shop. There is a code for 15% off um, and it's on the website for a first time buyer. So if it's the first time you purchase from their site, you can get 15% off, which is amazing. We all like a discount. Everybody likes a good discount. Seriously like the easiest ombre ever. I need to get more of the Pamper Pretty Solids so that way I can try this with some more colors. But it really doesn't even matter which angle you spray it. It looks like it turns out pretty good. So I'm gonna just kind of dust this off. And you know what? It's so much less waste, I feel like, than my tap ombres that I do. Um, which, as you can see, there's really no powder anywhere. So it's very minimal and I'm, they're turning out really nice and thin, which ombre can be thick sometimes too. Um, so let me go ahead and get through this pinky because I haven't done that yet. Two layers in on the rest and the pinky hasn't even been started. So we'll start with the tip here. Boom, boom. I didn't do two layers so this is probably going to dry on me and not look that great, but we'll make it up with the other layers. Like I said, um, if you are sensitive, definitely wear a mask because um, I am breathing in a little bit of this right now and I might actually go ahead and put my mask on real quick. So bear with me for just a second. And if I sound like I'm mumbling, it's just because I have a mask on. Or you can put a little fan on that will pull it away from you. I'm really weird about noise, so I really don't like to use the fan. I know that sounds really weird, but um, Consistent noises annoy me. So, anywho, here we go with the middle finger for the final layer. I'm really liking the way this turned out. So pretty. Okay, so we're gonna go back to the first color. I mean, just so much less waste. This is just amazing, guys. Absolutely amazing. I'm super impressed. It's kind of shimmery, so it might be hard to pick up on the camera how good this ombre looks, but um, once I take a picture, I will post it and you guys can see that as well. So that one is done. What I'm going to do is just kind of dust that off and then I'm going to take and just do a final layer of base and just let it dry. Um, Cause I'm not going to encapsulate this in clear. I don't feel like it's necessary. So we'll let that dry. It looks like I got a random piece of glitter in there. So let me see if I can get that out. If not, oh well, we'll work with it.
Boom, got it. Give me a little, a little spray here. Cover that up. Then I'm gonna redo that base coat. I really like this base coat trick. It saves a lot of clear powder as well because you're not having to encapsulate all your pretties. Um, and then they're not as thick. So let me go ahead and do the second coat on this pinky. That way I can come back to it after the thumb. And uh, finish up. I'm so excited about this one. It's so pretty. Now you can kind of see how pretty it is now that I put that base coat on it. Okay, let's go ahead and attack this pinky. Spray bottle. For those of you that have trouble with ombre, um, I would highly suggest buying these. It takes all the pain away from an ombre. Sometimes it can be a struggle. Now, I'd like to try this with some darker colors and I'm not sure how well these work with glitters. Like, not chunky glitter, because that obviously wouldn't work, but um, maybe like a little bit of a thicker glitter. Like something like the Sparkling Punch. Um, I wonder how that would work. So I'm definitely gonna try that out in the future. Um, but for now, we're gonna stick to these shimmers and the solids and then we'll work our way up to more magic. I don't even know if I wanna do another coat on this. It's so pretty. But anyway, we are, we're going to, just because thickness will break. So I'm just gonna go ahead and spray it on. And as you can see, there's really like no rhyme or reason for how I'm spraying this and what direction. Um, it really just kind of works. As long as you point it to where you need it to go, I'm like super satisfied with the results here. And the fact that it's just so incredibly thin. Like thin is my game. I like thin. I don't like the nails too chunky. And that's all personal preference, but that's my preference. So um, let's go ahead and do this final layer. Do the base on this one, just so that way it's ready. This is such a gorgeous mani. Oh my god. In love. Okay, and our final layer on the pinky. We're going to start with the tip. Make sure that's blended okay. And head back in. The base of the nail. And boom, chakalaka. I think we just did it. That's amazing. Okay, I am in love. I know I've said that 20 times now. One base coat. And then just let that base coat dry. And then what we're gonna do next is our accent now, our sparkling punch. Now I can take this mask off and I'm gonna spraying. You guys can hear me a little bit better. So sparkling punch. I'm just gonna do two layers and then a dip of clear. This one's gonna be really pretty. It's got some uh, holographic glitter in it. Ooh, baby. Look at that. So pretty. And I think this actually goes really well together. I wonder, like, I think some of these powders, they have like a shimmer in it, and I wonder if they could be chromed. I'm not 100% sure. Sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't. Um, but maybe I will try that in the future with these. I always like to give it a shot. I don't chrome with gel because I'm allergic, but I do chrome with uh, Sally Hansen Miracle Gel. And it works with some colors, but not with all. So it's kind of like 
um, you know, a hit or miss, but I know I normally dust off with a brush, a stiff brush, but I'm not going to do that today. This was a really easy mani and it is so pretty. Y'all are going to think I put so much effort into this when I post it on Instagram, but I didn't. Minimal effort, maximum beauty. And so every uh, Pampered Pretties color that I've worked with has been really easy to use. Um, I really like, they have um, these amazing little square glitters. I'm gonna show you real quick. Just about some of that setting. Like Snooky, this thing is like one of my favorites. Um, I did a Manny with this and people went crazy over it. She sold out of this multiple times. She also has one called Apple Teeny, which is, I can't wait to use this one. It's got like lime green and yellow. So that's really awesome. And then uh, there's two more that I have. This one is called Dalmatian, obviously. Good reason why. And then the last one that I have, I'm not sure if there's others. I think there's one called Cotton Candy as well. This one is called Bikini Bod. And that needs to be making an appearance soon because it's really pretty. So, you know, I love glitter. All shapes and sizes. These are beautiful. Okay, two layers of glitter down. And now all I need is a dip of clear. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that real quick. I'm actually gonna, you know, scoop it on. And let me just dust off just a little bit of glitter. probably could just do the base coat trick on this as well, but when I'm buffing, I really just don't want there to be any hiccups and any, I don't want to ruin my glitter, so. Trusty encapsulation. Okay, so, and yes, I will post about these spoons because people always ask me, but you have to buy like 150 pack off Amazon, but they're like $6. So um, I probably should just start giving them away to people. Um, Cause everybody always asks. And I, I really think it's a great tool to have. It's just a little spoon, but it picks up just the right amount of powder. So now we are going to, I really do need to dust these off. So I'm just gonna go ahead All around my fingers are so shiny. Probably just have to wash them. Okay, activator. Activator, file buff, and top coat, and then we'll show you. I guess I did not get that piece out. It's there and it's staying. Looked like I did, I just moved it around. Wow, I feel so relieved that my life has just gotten so much easier with um, regards to ombre. Now, I don't know how many of these bottles I'm gonna need, but you know, having stuff to make your life easier is really helpful, especially when you do a lot of mayonnaise like I do. So, next step, just shape these up real quick. One of these days, I know I've told you guys before, I'm going to do a video about all of my favorite things, but my favorite things list keeps growing, like huge. So um, I gotta put that all together because you know, my favorite things aren't always all in the same place. <laughs> and my nail room is a mess right now. So I plan to do like, a nice little uh, tour of the nail room as well as like a video showing all my favorite things. Maybe combine it into one. Um, in the comments, just let me know what you guys think and if you guys have any ideas, maybe we can roll with that because my brain is not working very well lately. 
been in kind of a funk with videos and you know to be honest I really enjoy making videos but sometimes I feel like I just don't have that uh, creative brain you know sometimes you're talking through the videos and sometimes it goes really well and I don't edit my videos um, as far as my talking goes I really don't edit them at all every once in a while if I have like a little blooper I might edit that out but it's very rare. Mostly it's pretty much like a live video and all I do is add music. So the background sound isn't very boring. Um, other than that, what you see is what you get with me. Hopefully you like it. <laughs> um, Cause that's pretty much here to stay. So more videos are coming, I promise. I wish that I could film every Manny that I did, but um, just getting them uploaded sometimes can be, it's a lot. Um, especially because I upload them from my phone. So I definitely need to find another resource. I need to figure out an app that I can use on my computer that will make it a little bit easier. Um, I just really like the iMovie editing app and I'm not really ready to let it go. But anywho, I do have now an Amazon storefront that has a lot of my favorite things to buy on Amazon. So I will actually link that as well. Um, it's just some random stuff. It's lighting, it's pack shipping and packing, it's um, you know your nail table, accessories, nail art, your... Um, must-haves like for the beginner so i mean there's just all sorts of stuff that i put in there and it'll keep growing um i do make a little bit of money off of it it's not much but you know um if you're gonna buy off amazon anyway i would love if you would support me and maybe buy some of the things that i like um so definitely check that out i'm gonna go ahead and activate and then top coat and we will be done with this beauty I'm definitely gonna have to go scrub around my cuticles because it's a little shimmery. I may have to scrape this out and redo it because that is driving me nuts, but we'll see. So my two handy dandy I always use two because it absorbs the top coat when I start to wipe it. My hands are like super shimmery. And I know I'm not wearing my other ring today, but my hands have been swollen. I haven't been feeling the best this week. Um, I have a little bit of a sinus thing going on. So. I don't know. Anyway, it's a little swollen, so I'm not wearing that ring. The other one still fits. And that's really pretty. It's almost perfect besides that little speck. It's gonna drive me crazy. Does that drive y'all crazy? I bet it does. Some people don't care, but for me, oh my goodness. There's a good chance that after this video, I might pop that off and redo it, but I'm not sure yet. Maybe I'll get brave and just post it like that, just because nobody's perfect. So maybe I'll do that. I think this may be one of my new favorite glitters. I know I probably say that about a lot of glitter because I love glitter, um, but it's really pretty. I feel like it would go great in fall too. Easiest ombre ever, by far. Very minimal work. If y'all have any questions, um, Obviously, like always, drop them down in the comment section below. I try to get back to you guys quickly, but there's just some days that I just 
don't have time and I try to check them as often as I can uh, but there's always a lot going on so um, definitely you know just expect me to get back to you and if I don't you can always message me on Instagram because I am there um, I'm definitely there more than I'm on YouTube but I try to check this as much as possible so whenever one pops up on the screen I try to answer it right away candy skincare um, I try to answer it right away that way I don't forget but we're all human we're all living in this crazy world right now so I'm doing my best to get back to you guys as soon as I can okay and there is that beautiful ombre mani with pamper pretties definitely check them out and guys if you have any questions um, please do drop them in the comments box below. Please do like and subscribe and thank you so much. I'll see you next time.